Hey guys, I might have COVID and I don't know. I don't know yet though. I'm dealing with some cold flu symptoms. I started noticing that I was having less energy about a week ago. So I thought, well, I need to get outside and, and start exercising more or something because I'm, I don't have enough energy here. What's going on, you know? And then bam, like to the point where I just surrender. There's just so much to do. Anyway, I'm doing this video, it's in December. So don't know when I'm getting this up. The other day I went and got um, the Beamer treatment and then I did the ozone sauna and then I had a cup of ozone water and did ozone insufflation my ears. I also did ozone water drops in my nose and in my eyes. I mean, it really helped clear things up. Getting a test taken tomorrow to see if I have COVID. You know, we're on that uh, protocol from our naturopath to keep us as healthy as possible right now during this flu season. If I've got COVID, then it's, it shouldn't be terribly hard on me, I would think. It's like the more I talk or the more energy I use, it affects my head and my eyes. This is the stuff I'm taking right now. I have the diffusers on in the house with tea tree oil and clove essential oil too. I'm treating this like I would any other kind of flu. It seems like the more I do, the more stressed I get and I'm glad my head's not hurting like it was though. Uh, there was uh, really good progress after I went and got the ozone stuff done. So that's great. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm going to get a COVID test for the first time. Just throwing on some clothes and maybe just a cold, who knows? Anyway, whatever it is, um, it, it really has taken my energy like like a flu with a fever would, would do. And I haven't even had a fever, by the way. I don't have any shortness of breath and no chest pain. Um, just really tired and feels like a cold. I'm plugging the ozone thing so everybody can come in here and use the bathroom. These are for my naturopath. They're a specific protocol to take if flu-like symptoms come on. What you do is you take 10 drops for three days, and I'm on the third day. Making this mixture here to go in, in this thing. And I'm gonna put it up my nose real quick before we leave. Let's get this done and over with. We're headed out to get a COVID test for mom. Here we go. Wish us the best of luck. <laughs> A lot of people parked and testing. Oh my goodness gracious. There needs to be some Christmas caroling going on or something because this is a sad parking lot. <laughs> I look uh, horrible. Gonna get some Lily's trying to figure out how to eat. I suggested to roll her window down next to all these COVID <laughs> patients that are waiting. Here I go, they called me in put my finger in there and then took my temperature with that and I'm looking good and now we're gonna do a swab right here you're and... gonna do the swab oh okay I'm gonna do the swab she says okay here we go right. pull it straight out there you go all right I'm gonna put you in the computer over here count to ten yes all right Whew. Wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, it just kind of burns your nose. Yeah. Now, is there something on this thing? No, it's just a plain cotton swab. Oh, okay. I don't know why it would burn your nose then. Your nose is irritated. Oh, okay. I'm tipping. Okay. And I'm going to make your sample nice and juicy while you sanitize your hands again. Okay. Here's your ID. These people test and you know they can get it at any, any time too so it just makes me emotional that they're having to do this kind of job anyway my results will come back in 30 or 45 minutes and i sit in my car and find out because it's a rapid one all right wish me luck back home and I was tested positive for COVID. I can't believe it. Um, I'm quarantined in my room now. I thought it was a cold and I'm always proactive and my brain and my body didn't allow myself to be proactive for this whole family. 
So now, you know, I'm just concerned that, you know, that others in this house have it. So pretty sure the kids have already had it because they had like a cold, like these kind of symptoms about two weeks ago. Or maybe that's how I got it. Who knows? I think I thought I, I got it from somebody working at Walgreens and they were coughing with their mask on. After telling everybody close by that I got COVID, I'm just really worn out. While I was telling people, I, I walked around outside in the nice fresh air. So that's always good for you. My most concern is my, my husband because he takes cholesterol medicine and blood thinner. Uh, she said, being that I don't have any underlying stuff and uh, that I should be out of the woods about day eight, something like that, seven or eight. Anyway, she said the window is about five to eight where your symptoms could worsen. And I definitely, by the way, I'm definitely more emotional. I've been emotional, like I see something on TV and I cry. There was two times where I started thinking like depressed thoughts. And I thought that that was like, that was unusual. Um, so that might come along with COVID too. Um, it's basically just being out of it and needing to up your vitamins, you know, and stuff like that, I guess. So anyway, I'm gonna have the kids make me a smoothie. I'm gonna stay hydrated. It was my birthday yesterday and my daughter brought these balloons and look at these pictures my kids made me. And who's going to blow out the candles? Dad, oh. you want to blow them out? Make a wish for me. Yay! That's Yay. what I want you want again. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> you like it, Mommy. You did such a great job, guys. Wow, that's a lot of candles. Oh, no. Today I'm feeling like even better than the last three days. Last three days stayed kind of the same, but was better than the days before. I've slept with the dogs in my room because if not, they'll wake me up. So far, you know, people that I know have had dogs and they didn't get it. My husband's supposed to test a week later after I tested positive and I'm supposed to um, stay away from everybody for 10 days since my first symptoms and I don't exactly know when my first symptoms are, so we're gonna play it safe regardless. I went ahead and did a uh, virtual appointment today with my doctor so we can hopefully get 100% pay. She says that I've had mild symptoms. Uh, she asked if I wanted a steroid or something, you know, to make sure I don't get pneumonia and I think I'm good, but I asked her, do you, does she think I'm, I would still, you know, get that at this point? She said most likely not, but uh, you know, if I want to take it, then go ahead and I opted out. If I wouldn't have ta done that ozone stuff at the beginning, I don't know, you know, what shape I'd be in now. So, if anything, I'll just go get some more ozone done or something. I'm my naturopath. They offered to prick my finger. Insurance won't pay for it, and it would be charged like a regular fee with some like $125 for them to tell me whether I had COVID or, COVID or not, and if it wasn't what, what it was. So, they would have done that in the parking lot give me a kit to do myself or something. Um, so that's the options that I would have had with them. I knew I was gonna get a regular test done anyway in the next few days, so I waited for that. And the doctor did say to expect this tiredness to, to linger, you know, in the head and in the body for a while after. Hey, so. My husband made me some chili. He's been making meals every day. The twang of the Parmesan cheese um, is actually a twangy enough where I can taste that it has some flavor. thought, well, I'm gonna smell these flowers and see if I can, if I can smell them. I think I got a little whiff of the flowers. So that's pretty cool. I'm not uh, taking as much deep breaths. It's not shortness of breath, it's just, it's like a cold, you know, when you can't breathe is good. My body's still weak, but it's um, stronger. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go get some ozone at uh, Eden Point. I'm gonna do the same thing I did at the beginning that I'm sick right now of all times. I've got so much to do, and luckily I got the kid stuff. Um, it's not really that I got much for anybody else.
Hey guys, I'm leaving Eaton Point. I just did the Beamer treatment and some ozone treatments just now. I'm feeling the best I've felt the whole time. You know, I don't have as much pressure on my head, but I feel more clear headed. A week ago today is when I did my first um, ozone treatments when I had COVID and I thought I had a cold. I want to show you guys what I got my dad for Christmas from Eden Point here. They got lots of neat stuff at Eden Point. If you have a question about, you know, how to make something whole food plant-based, um, you know, they can help you and do a food demonstration or give you recipes. And they've got all sorts of um, like ingredients, um, all sorts of neat things that you can't find, that I can't find just anywhere. Um, so I've got this for my dad for Christmas. It's um, activated oxygen for his fridge so that's cool and then got some carob chips carob chips don't have caffeine in them and uh, Miss Sharon printed this out for um, to go with the carob chips it's about carob versus chocolate and then I got these cool granola bars they're made out of pulp look at these mushroom jerky how cool is that then one more thing super greens it gives you energy it has wheat grass in it it's really good when I juiced I use this um, you don't have to you know I have a garden now so I'm like I'm getting all my greens from my garden now oh, the kids and dad are going for a test and they have no symptoms here we go Okay. All right, it's gonna be five seconds into each nostril. Nice big circles in there, okay? Go ahead. Other side. Nice big circles. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go ahead and take that from you. And you're free to go. Take care. So we're supposed to call this or go online to get the results. It's, we get our results in about three days. We thought it would be rapid for Andy. So we're gonna keep our masks on, I guess, till we get our results back. Guess what our test results are? <laughs> I just flying We're away. So gonna need <laughs> They're negative test results. So we are so happy and now we're going to go clean the house. So that will do it for this video. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you in our next video. Bye, bye bye. It's two weeks later right now. And um, I started taking this uh, due to lack of energy. Uh, oh. Okay, please stop. <laughs> Are you sure your hands are supposed to be right, right here? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Doing it wrong, are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh my god, you so sound hilarious. Then I go over here. Well, the hyper vibe, like if you jog and you exercise, it's really good for you. So that's basically what this is doing, but intensely. Oh, he's laughing. <laughs> You're not supposed to be like that. <laughs> What the hell am I supposed to do it?